I'd like you to say stop anywhere right there. Great. Now, the card you stop me at is going to be my card, in this case, the Queen of Hearts. My card is the Queen of Hearts, and I'll place it there. Would you say stop again right there? Good. That'll be your card, the Seven of Clubs. Remember, your card is the Seven of Clubs. My card is the Queen of Hearts. Snap the fingers, and the Queen of Hearts jumps over to here, and the Seven of Clubs is now on the table. Let's take that Seven of Clubs and lose it into the pack. And would you call out any number higher than 10 but lower than 20? What's that? 13? Great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, we found your card again. It wasn't here at 14, and of course it wasn't here at 12, but right there at 13. Let's take your card and cut it into the pack one more time. And this time what I'll do is try to find your card by looking for it. I'll simply look through the cards real quick. I saw your card was exactly 28 cards down from the top of the deck, so all I have to do is cut exactly 28 cards, and I found your card. Let's take your card, the seven of clubs, lose it back into the pack one more time. This time I'll make several piles of cards on the table. Do you like pile number one, two, three, four? Oh, you like four? Good, let's take a look. Right there on top, your card, the seven of clubs. I'll take that seven of clubs and bury it back here into the middle of the pack, give it a little bit of a cut and a shuffle, put the cards behind my, pa my, my back, and try to find your card. Let's see. I think I've got it. Yes, the seven of clubs. Listen, take your seven of clubs and take your thumb and put a thumbprint on the back of it. Right there? Great. I'll take that card, lose it into the pack, and now all I have to do is start to look for the thumbprint. Oh, there it is right there, your card, the seven of clubs. Maybe you thought I got lucky with that, so let's take the seven of clubs and lose it back into the deck again. This time we'll take some dice, give them a roll. You can roll them if you like. Three, we'll deal down one, two, third card. There's your card again, the seven of clubs. Of course, it wasn't here at four and it wasn't here at two, but it was here at three, thanks to the dice. We'll take these cards and give them a little cut, lose the seven of clubs back into the pack. This time, I will blindfold the deck so that I can't see the cards, making this trick very hard. Simply reach down, give it a cut, and cut right to your card, the seven of clubs. Real magic with it. And the real magic is by simply hypnotizing you, waving my hand over that seven, snapping the fingers, and then causing each and every card to change into a seven of clubs. And that's a heck of a trick. But it's only an illusion because if you take that seven of clubs, rub the back of the card, snap the fingers again, they all go back to normal. And thank you for watching.